here with Carrie Mulligan. How's it like we're so far from 1912 and even today we're still fi women are fighting for equal pay. How does a movie like this inspire? Yeah, we're, we're fighting for equal pay, but we're also experiencing so many of the other issues in the film. You know, 62 million girls are denied an education today. Um, one in three women experience sexual violence. There are so many parts of our film that reflect modern day problems. And we're really lucky in our country and we've come a long way, but there's so much further to go. So I think that was part of the intention of the film was to try and sort of shine a light on issues like that. I think it, the film, I hope, is empowering and inspiring and reminds everybody how hard fought for the vote was, how recently it was and how precarious these rights are and how we have to keep speaking out and keep fighting against inequality even today. So I read that you really had to stay in character, you stayed away from your en enemy foes in the movie. Are things better now? Yeah, he's a very nice guy. I just didn't need to talk to him when we were filming. No, it was a, it was a kind of, you know, it was Sarah's idea just to keep us separate because that was obviously he's the most sort of clear-cut villain of the piece and for us to be too pally offset probably wouldn't have helped.